really this is the hope and future of desert bighorns in the state of Utah. This is the brainchild of Horseman for Fish and Wildlife, uh, Utah Wild Sheep Foundation, and the Division of Wildlife Resources. This dream started because it became increasingly difficult to find a clean source herd to augment wild populations and reintroduce desert bighorns in the state of Utah. And to my knowledge, this is only the second facility in the Western United States that you know, thought outside the box and, and had the idea to produce something like this. I think New Mexico is the other. Our hope is, is we'll be able to grow the population here and once we hit our carrying capacity here that we'll be able to take the offspring and augment wild populations but then also find other places identified in our sheep plan that now we have the ability to reintroduce them. Yeah, we visited this uh, place and looked at this mountain and it says, holy cow, there's our nursery. And it's hard to believe that the stars aligned and everything come together and we actually were able to pull it off. The biggest thing we had to do is we had to double fence it. The first fence was going to be a high fence, eight feet tall. And then we have a second boundary fence that's about 20 feet off that, that just acts as an additional buffer. Uh, it was a big chore and especially in the time frame that we wanted to pull it off. We were able to hook up with Alec uh, from Valley Fence and he took on this project and I can't say enough good about Alec. I mean, you can see as you go down and look at some of these runs of fence, you look through it, it looks like it has just one fence post. It's as straight and tight as I've ever seen. And so special thanks to Alec and the crew for what they did here and they accomplished it in just shy of three months. As I mentioned before, a lot of things come together to make this happen. You know, first and foremost, our hats have to go off to the Richmond family. You know, Heather, Greg, Lyle, and Aaron, without them, at least agreeing to go to dinner and listen to our crazy dream about their family ranch, this wouldn't have happened. And also the Keach family, you know, we're able to visit with Dan and Chet Keach, and we're able to increase the enclosure by roughly 200 acres, you know, to make it a little bit bigger so we could possibly house more sheep. Uh, I can't say enough to everybody that's rallied around this, the Division of Wildlife Resources, uh, Utah Wild Sheep Foundation. Nevada made these sheep available to us. We didn't have any place to put them. Skyrider Ranch and Skyler out there stepped up and allowed us to keep those sheep there for about 18 months until we found a permanent location. Without them, um, we wouldn't have the 13 sheep that we currently have here right now. And you know, the big thanks to you know, the state of Nevada. We hope you get more sheep from you but we appreciate what you've done with this and helped us you know, uh, work towards making this dream come true. Volunteers have been out here and crazy man Steve Sorensen, he was right out here with Alec Pounding Fence. He too you know, held the same vision that we did. This wouldn't have happened without you know, money coming from private individuals, Gary Sorensen, Todd Peterson, the you know, Peterson Family Trust, the Sportsman of Utah. We used Expo money towards this, conservation permit money. This is something we can be proud of. And our hopes is that it preserves and helps keep desert bighorns in the state of Utah for generations to enjoy.